Outside calling you for the last 15 minutes. Sorry, phone's broken. Well, are you coming? We're gonna be late. No. No, we are not going to be late. No, it's me. No, I'm not coming. Please don't do this today. These tickets were not easy to get, and I had to plead with the box office to let me exchange them after you flaked on me last week. Amy, I don't want to get eaten by a dinosaur. What? I was watching this movie last night, and this woman. I don't even think her character has a name. Maybe she does, but I don't remember it. Anyway, she's just this personal assistant to some big shot, and her whole job that day is to just watch this big shot's kid nephews as they walk around an amusement park. Boom, out of nowhere, she gets eaten by a dinosaur. Well, first she gets carried around by a dinosaur, and then she gets eaten by a different dinosaur. But still, I don't want that to happen to me. That's not going to happen. I know, that's why I'm staying here. Spencer! This woman was just like us. A normal, young professional. She got up that day and she went to her job. She was texting at work probably about what she was going to do that weekend, maybe friends or family she was going to see. She might have had interests, hobbies, things that brought her joy outside of the daily grind of work. She, she might have worked this job because she wanted to pay her bills so that she could pursue her true passion of creating paper mache corgis or whatever she loved to do. But this woman is dead. And her mother is getting a call from a Jurassic World attorney letting her know that her daughter was eaten by a genetically engineered Mosasaurus. My mother sacrificed so much, she's not going to get that phone call because of me. This was a movie. That woman is an actress. She is alive and well. You don't know that. Okay, then. <clears throat> Here's her IMDb. That's not her. I mean, that woman might have been killed by a dinosaur, too. They didn't show what happened to her. Her death would have been as insignificant as her life. Oh, my God. If I can guarantee you that there will be a 0% chance of you being eaten by a dinosaur, will you get out of bed? But what about aliens? Spencer! What if this giant wormhole opens up in the sky and then all these killer aliens start pouring out of it? And then if that weren't bad enough, Captain America, Thor, the Hulk, the freaking Hulk come down and start smashing everything? People's cars and offices and apartments, everything! Was that movie on before Jurassic World? Yes, but that is not the point. A person could just be walking down the street, minding her own business, and then out of nowhere, the Hulk drops a Subaru Forester on her head. Splat! It could happen to anybody. It can't. Not to me if I stay here. The heroes, they always end up okay. It's us ordinary people who are just one malfunctioning fence, one pile of falling debris, one wrong place, wrong time, away from... And no one will care. Just like that lady at the dinosaur park. I promise, I will protect you from dinosaurs or aliens or dementors or vampires or anything else you saw on TV. Please, you Spencer. You can't. You can't protect me. No one can. The heroes can't. Captain America can't. Chris Pratt certainly can't. If I leave this room, I'm just putting it up to chance that I'm not going to end up a part of some catastrophic tragedy like Andrew. Andrew? He's this kid that I went to middle school with. We weren't really friends. We dissected a frog together in seventh grade bio, but that's as close as our relationship ever got. He went to that concert last month and he didn't come back because some guy decided to bring a gun. And now Andrew is just part of a number. And he'll stay a part of a number until there's a bigger number and then he'll just be forgotten. I don't wanna be forgotten. It's selfish, I know it is, but what if something happens to me before I do anything important? My whole life, my entire existence would just be a waste of matter and space. And what if I never do anything important? I face the world and I have nothing to show for it. I live to be 80 or 90 or 104. My sole accomplishment is just living to be 104. And the people will read my obituary, and all they'll care about is what I ate. Oh, look, she ate Taco Bell. Told you those nutritionists were full of it. Pass me a chalupa. I don't know what's worse. Not being given enough time or failing with the time that you are given. It could have been me. I could have been at that concert. Well, I could.
couldn't have been because I hate country music, but you get it. Metaphorically, I could have been there. I could have been at any of those places. Don't blame me. No. Nope. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to live to be 104, and then at least I'll be known as the Taco Bell Hermit. It's better than being forgotten. What do you think Andrew would say if he knew that you locked yourself in your room because of him? He'd say it was Spencer. And after I reminded him of your middle school bio days and he's like, oh, that's Spencer. She's awesome. He'd be shocked. He'd be like, that girl torn to that frog with such reckless abandon, I assume, that I am stunned, dare I say downright flabbergasted, that anything could slow her down. So your Andrew's from Kentucky? I never met him. <laughs> but I know you. And I know that anyone who knows you would say that you are fierce and tenacious. And you aren't going to be forgotten without a fight. Okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> Do you still have that pizza that's been in your freezer for like months? No. Okay. Chinese it is then. Hey, I I'm sorry about the tickets. Screw them. We'll stay in tonight and take on the world tomorrow. You up for a movie? I think I saw Donnie Darko streaming. I haven't seen that in a while. You know, that's about a kid that gets killed sitting in his bed by a falling jet engine. <laughs> I'll chance it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus.